Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with kick-off just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Southampton, and they take on Lille. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Number 10, Shay Adams. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And so the initial 11 for Lille. Well, 4-4-2 against 4-4-2. That certainly takes me back. But I think this will come down to who wins the battle in central midfield because there's four very good players in there. And they kick off here. Went in strongly, decisively. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Bamba. Well, who will be the player to decide the um to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you. Well, he didn't plant the seed of fear on the goalkeeper's mind, that's for certain. Stevens, Oriol Romeu, can they find a gap in the defence, Armstrong, he's going forward well here, can he give them the advantage, nicely blocked, Short corner favoured. Romeo. Armstrong. Plenty of players waiting in the middle, but nicely executed defensively. Armstrong. El Yunusi, can he do it? Oh, it might be. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. <laughs> 
Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. André. Delightful pass. That might still be problematic. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, the stats confirm it. Southampton have been the more dominant team in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. Space and time for the cross. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Now what can they do from here? Teammate and support. Determined defending. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Who can they pick out? On a cut, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Ikone. It's with Burak Yilmaz. And you can sense the threat is there. Oh, he's gone for goal! Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Ward Prowse. Jay Adams. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. This looks promising. Superb block. Romeo. And it's still on. Ward Prowse. On the ball, Mohamed Elianusi. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jay Adams he's enjoying space still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it and the defender got the last touch that'll be a corner well what about that opportunity a few minutes ago we can see it again now short corner taken And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Redmond. Lord Prowse. A bit sloppy in possession. Burak Yilmaz. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Sanchez, able to get a body in the way. Can they get themselves in front here? What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal!
Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Jay Adams. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And it goes down as a chance for him. Well, the cross was good, so too the movement in the box. It deserved better, really. Well, as the stats tell us, Lille have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. The owner of the blue card registration, BG04 DOM, please turn your lights off. Romain Perrault. And the pass could do damage. Romeo. Or Prowse. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Bamba. Space on the flank. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Armstrong. Oriol Romeo. Bad pass. André. It's with Burak Yilmaz. Reynildo. Promising looking ball. And that's a high quality stop. Well, it may not count for anything, but that was a great save, wasn't it? Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Can he deliver it with accuracy? The idea was to get the corner beyond the first defender, but he didn't succeed. It's got to be! Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. Stevens. Armstrong are showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out not the pass he had in mind 
Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they've given him too much space. Delivered into the area here. Well, able to close down the shot. And that is going to be all for this game. A frustrating day at the office for Southampton. No points picked up. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was higher today.